Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fascination. Oh, the fabric haul I have for you today. <gasps> da, da, da. Oh my gosh. And you'll be like, you saved how much? That's right. You know, normally when you go to a fabric store and you want to buy a bunch of fabrics and you don't end up with a lot, you don't end up with three bags for what I paid, you're going to be like, you got all that for how much? That's right. So let me sit you over here. I have some more pants to mend, like I said, from my friend's mom. And uh, oh, so excited to bring you this fabric haul. Now, we did sit it over here. The lighting isn't all that great over here. This is my new regalia. But I will show you that in a better light. So let's get you set up. <sighs> I forgot I had my phone flipped the other way. So if I flip it the other way now, it's going to look funny. It is. Oh, and now I have to figure out how I'm going to balance the. Uh, let's do this on a box, huh? Do this on a box. And lean you up here. Maybe that'll work. The box is a little rougher, so it should have better hold. Okay, so we're gonna bring all these over here. And um, you guys will be like, how much gingham did you get? A lot of gingham. So let's start at where oh, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> Let's start at this. Um, oh, wow. <gasps> I'm excited to bring this to you. Now, uh, this is a fabric that I told you about in another video that was going to be a wrap dress or wrap summer skirt, shirts. And he gave me the bolt a fabric. He didn't charge me very much for this. And at the end of everything, I'll tell you how much I really paid for all three bags. Now, I did buy a bunch of gingham. I love this gingham. Isn't this pretty? Now, some of these I bought end roll. So, that's why he didn't charge me an arm and a leg. So, I'm going to separate, separate my ginghams like this one. I thought that was cute. This could be a unisex one. I mean, even the purple one could be, but... <sighs> then he let me buy this whole bolt that was unfortunately rolled weird. But this is the actual color right here. Look how stretchy that is. So beautiful. I got the whole bolt of this. Right? I just really can't believe that they didn't know about Fabric Mart, but that's okay. Not every fabric store knows about each other. And I'm going to see about having Fabric Mart and Sam's Fabrics get together so that Fabric Mart can actually help Sam's Fabrics. Oh, i got to make an informed decision on touching this one. It's silk. Silk real silk and I got this for a poquito of a price <laughs> just a little price uh, bag number two gonna be like how much of that did you buy a lot a lot look at that well that's Okay, I just thought that this was cute. This could be like a house dress, a shirt, a skirt. Not a pair of pants, though. But I just thought it was cute. So I'm going to separate my florals from my gingham. And you can be like, how much gingham did you buy? <laughs> just wait until the end. Um, like this one. This is also a unisex put all those together. Uh, 
I'm excited for this. And look at this. Isn't that pretty? I know. To some people, this is retro. But to me, this is a pair of pants. And there's a lot there, so I can make more than one pair. Separate that. You're like, but he got more gingham? Absolutely. <laughs> but look how pretty again. Again, this is a unisex color gingham fabric. And it was real pretty and it was inexpensive. And like I said, I will tell you at the end of showing you everything how much I paid. Seriously. I mean, wow. This is Blue Hill. And right, colonial poison green cedar, but you know what? I don't see any green in this. I think this was put on the wrong one, but I love that. This could be like for something historical. I love the purple in it. Like what else? What else? What else? About some more gingham. I thought this would make a pretty um a pretty skirt because it's pretty or it could be shirts, whichever. But that's not all. <laughs> this is the last one in this bag of gingham, but it's not the last gingham, trust me. Uh, the camera does not do this justice. This is not actually green like you're seeing on the camera. It's got brown tones in it and a turquoise blue. So, on to the next bag. And that's the last bag, by the way. <laughs> oh, it's serious. How much fabric did I get? <laughs> you guys are like, when does this end in this bag? Okay. So, I got this roll of fabric. It's called Western Denim. Or that's the company. And Dirt for Blank Quilting. Okay, but you know what? That's the company. But, I'm sorry, this is not for quilting. This is for next year's regalia. <gasps> and will it go with those earrings? And the earrings I'm wearing? Absolutely. <laughs> and, wait for it, wait for it. More gingham! <laughs> wow, you went, you went all out for this game. Absolutely. Because a lot of these ginghams can be used for men's or women's apparel. Is that all I have for gingham? No. I asked him at the end of everything, am I up to that price point yet where we stop? And he said, no, one more bolt. Well, this was that last bolt of fabric that I brought up to the front. And he said, girls, don't even unroll it. It's sold. <laughs> ah, okay. Trying to make an informed decision on touching the silk. This is silk again. Lovely, lovely blue. And I'm gonna put that with the other silk because silks belong together. Now I got this really cute, oh my gosh. Like I said, I wish the lighting was better in here. I really do. <laughs> You're hearing my patterns over there. But this is really pretty. It's got this pale, Paisley yellow in it, and it's striped, so obviously it doesn't go with gingham. And I got this. This is really nice. They let me have this one for like, like a couple of dollars just for the bolt. Oh, and that's not all. <laughs> then I got. This, isn't that pretty? Look at that. Oh my gosh. I just thought that this fabric was so pretty that it belonged to be made into something. It just really deserves to be made into something. Okay. 
Like, as for the fabric, I only have one fabric left, and we'll count how many bolts of fabric I bought. I'm going to count that. Um, this is the last one. And actually, this is the one I really want to make into a skirt for myself. I don't really wear a lot of skirts, but I saw Annika Victoria use a similar fabric for a round circle skirt. I should say a square circle skirt. And I saw this and I'm like, oh, this is similar to what Annika Victoria had for her square circle skirt. Give you an idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, is this video done yet? No. Not yet. It will be soon. You will let me sit down for a minute. It's not that I'm hot. I'm just winded. But. I'm lifting all that fabric. I felt sorry for the girl at the fabric store. Like. She lifted one of the bags, and the bag ripped up. Someone I just wadded up that that bag was ripped. And, you know, I told her it was no big deal. It's okay. She's doing her job. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Then I got three zippers. They were all out of black. So this one is like a teal color. This is a darker teal. They almost match. And then there is, well, I'm just going to call this blue because it's blue. Well, they're almost the same teal color, but one of them is a little different. Okay. And I couldn't really find too much of the seam binding that I wanted, but I do like this. This will help with something, and so will this seam binding. And uh, they gave this to me for like, I think, 50 cents each, or they didn't even make me pay for it. I Okay. Hello, right? Um, how much sewing do I have to do? A ton. Um, first thing I need to do is finish that poncho. I really only need to get the hood done and then that's completed with also putting that pocket inside. Um, but again, let's see how many bolts of fab we have. This is one. Use that bag so it's not all crunchy. A half of one. So we'll just count that as two. <laughs> okay. Unless you want to count this as two because, I mean, that other one was on a bolt. So it actually counts as two. This one's three. Four. <sighs> Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we're not stopping there. We're just going to count every one of them. Ten. Remember that's ten, so this is eleven. 12, 13, 14, this is 15, and this is 16. And that's not all, don't forget. I still have more. This is 17, 18. <laughs> oh, hold on. 
19. This is the heaviest one because it's got a lot on it. 19. And 20. 20 of them. Okay. 20 bolts of fabric. Three zippers and two binding. Oh. For the saved up, I pinched my pennies for this, everyone. 20 bolts of fabric. <sighs> for $200. 20 bolts of fabric for $200. Oh, bless them. Bless them for doing business with me, too, because... I'm just really sad that they're shutting their doors next week and uh, but I'm happy to be able to help them out they slash the prices for me left and right and these little mom and pop places that go out of their way like that so worth it so why would I suggest that they finish selling out fabric, Mark? Because they need to clear their inventory. And because they need to clear their inventory and they had no clue about fabric, Mark, well, you know, I think for getting 20 bolts of fabric and doing great business, now I could have bought, I mean, $200 worth you know, for 20, that's actually not bad. They kept letting me stack it up and the guy got tired of unrolling the fabric and then having the girls re-roll the fabric and then it started getting really busy while I was in there. So, um, maybe I was their good luck charm. I don't know. I, there was only like Two people looking on the outside, going kind of iffy if they wanted something. And one person that came in, but left. But I went in there, and I started stacking fabric up. And people looking, and they went in there. They started buying. Um, now, I really wish that I could have gave them... A specific amount of money and cleared out a lot of their faux fur but I wasn't trying to go over budget for myself you know and there was only so much room in the car I should say in the SUV there was only so much room in the SUV um, and I didn't want to push it with my friend so you know on how much fabric he put in his vehicle uh, but what do I do with what's in here? Okay, well, I'm going to be making stuff. Um, the spare cardboard, uh, fabric rolls. So they gave me a bunch of those so I could take what I have in here and just re-roll it. Because to me, that makes storage a lot easier. And, um, I'll be able to just rewrap those fabrics and store them better instead of having them folded specific ways. You know what I mean? I think something folded like that would go easier in a drawer rather than you just have to hand fold and deal with it. Um, and then whatever I can't fit back in there, I'll just stack over here with my, um, patterns 